All right, here is the next maiden for today, August 13th. We have the Flight Test Warthog A10 running a 4000 4S LiPo. This is also set up with differential thrust. Oh, my back. Okay. Right now it's off. Okay. So we're gonna do ground checks real quick. We got right aileron, left, up, down. And then we got power. We got differential thrust. That's left rudder right rudder all right everything's all cg'd out balance good there's this baby that's how big she looks and we're gonna do the maiden Okay, the up elevator. There you go. This is a trim flight. Uh oh. Did my battery come undone or something? Okay, something's not right. Coming in. Perfect. Just she was acting up. I think the motor or something. Something was acting up. I don't know. We'll see what it is real quick. Well, motors are still attached. I don't know, maybe if I got a, I had a dud motor or something. CG still good, battery still attached. I don't know, it looks good to me. Did it fly good? Yeah, it's flying good. It just sounded kind of weird. It was doing that like crunchy sound. Oh no, uh, look at those water transfers peeling off, man. <laughs>
Oh shit, I almost got disoriented there. <laughs> There's differential thrust, right rudder. Differential thrust, left rudder. I don't know, it's like I'm losing battery power or something. Yeah, it's like I'm losing juice. All right, coming in. Because you notice in the beginning it was kind of fast. Now it's slowing down. Besides that battery issue, I'm not too sure what's going on with that one. But I'll figure it out. But other than that, Right from the beginning, it flies good. It just, uh, after a while, it starts robbing of power. So maybe the ESCs need to get ventilated somehow. Either that, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Oh, see, I hate those water transfers, man. It's coming off. I think I need to use a 3M77 adhesive. Alrighty, anyways. That is the maiden of the uh, FT A10 Warhog. She flies awesome. As you can see. Shazam!